And guys, this really sets up to be an incredible night in terms of excitement from the coaches to the players to us here in the booth. I mean, this is such a fantastic event to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Guys, it really is the greatest all-star game in all the sports, in my opinion. We have the best players in the NBA at the peak of their power. I mean, I can't wait to see what this year's game has in store for us. Defensive foul. Oh, a look at the West All-Stars starting for Wyman. Luka Doncic out there with John Morant. And it's LeBron James. And it's Nikola Jokic. And it's Giannis in at the four-man position. And fans and celebrities alike have descended on this town for All-Star Week. There's been a bunch of fun events going on all over the place. And Greg, it's like that every year. I mean, no matter what city is hosting, it becomes a mecca for everyone who wants to take in one of the greatest scenes in all of sports. Not only to watch the best players, but to be seen by the other stars in the crowd. And we've got a collection of the greatest players in the world here. And playing in the bit where they can really let it all hang out. And that's exactly why we always come away with such great memories. I mean, because they really do try to give the fans as many highlights as possible. And they are the best players in the world. Here's the general, Levine, up top, uncovered. And it's Morant with the rebound. Well, I cannot believe he didn't capitalize there. And neither can he. Ante the Kumbo, no good. Here's the general, guarded by Morant. Here's KD, and it's good off the back rim and in. Focus, intense focus. Durant has bundles of it. Once he catches the rock, the first thing on his mind is let it go. Now here's LeBron, back to Morant. Offensive rebound, Jokic, and he uses the glass on the way. And the first half of his season, boy, how special has it been? He has been on a rampage. Yeah, and he's got tremendous talent. And when he's fully healthy and engaged, I mean, he's really impossible to stop. That's what we've been seeing this year from him. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. They get it back. Misses the layup. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. Here's the general. Guarded by Morant. Morant with the steal. And there's the call on Durant. Kevin Durant. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Doncic outside. Some nice passing here by the West. Morant passes to Doncic. He kicks it to LeBron. Six on the shot clock. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And the East has possession. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Well, I had a chance to catch up with head coach Mike Malone. Now he understands the entertainment aspect of this game. He knows the fans want to show. But you can still detect some seriousness in this voice. He wants to win this game. Probably a little bit more than he's willing to let on. Guys? Thank you, David. That's one of the areas he's really improved. Durant's passing abilities have grown as his years in the league have grown. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Kevin shot Durant. misses. He'll be shooting two. The West All-Stars have shot two free throws and one of two so far. A big group substitution here for the East. And Anthony Davis is checked in for Durant. Evan Mobley comes in for Kawhi Leonard. George is checked in for Jason Tatum. And it's Edwards in for Levine. Then for the West All-Stars, Jimmy Butler, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Brandon Ingram comes in for Jokic. And Owen subbed in for Doncic. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for the East All-Stars. Here's the general. Guarded by Morant, and he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Young's checked in for the West. The East All-Stars shooting their first foul shot of the night. 
Floats it up for Butler. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop for the finish. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Game face. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses getting the deuce. Boy, he had a nice look at it after drawing the foul. Boy, it would have been nice to get an and one there. And so here are the West Alston. Six-point game. Wins kicks to Ingram. And it's the East with the rebound. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Yes, that goes in. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Ingram outside. Owens with it. Edwards there. Owens no good. The East leading by eight. And here's George for three. Offensive rebound. Obley kicks to George. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Shots good by Butler. That time you see the hustle there by Buckets. First corralling the miss, then sinking the dagger. Here's the general, defended by Young. The general can't get it to go. A lot of great plays being made here on the defensive end. That indeed is a rarity. The highlights are almost always on the offensive end of the floor in this event. Pass to Davis. Here's the general. It energizes everybody when LeBron is locked in like this on the defense. And that concludes the first quarter of play. East All-Stars up on top, up by six. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Welcome back for the second quarter of the main event of All-Star Weekend. And guys, we've already seen some unbelievable action here tonight. And there will be plenty more to come. We know that. All-Star action never disappoints. The general is out there with Zach Levine. And it's Durant. Then there's Jason Tatum, and it's Sampson in at the four. So that's who the East Alston will start the second with. Light on the fouls in terms of what's been called tonight, and that's usually the theme in this game. I agree. I mean, the guys always play reasonably hard, but they don't necessarily play physically, if that makes any sense. The officials' jobs are usually pretty easy in this one. And the East has possession. Out left of the wing. Here's the general. He's got 11. Down to five on the shot clock. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. And now that's what these people came to see. Just punishing the rim. Boy, that was tremendous. That will be worth some points in the dunk contest. Now, here's Doncic. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Butler deciding where to go with it. The West All-Stars need to get a shot off here. And it's Irving missing. The East leading by 10. From 13, it's rebounded by Doncic. Jokic against Tatum. Here's Doncic. Nice work on the board. It's paying off at the basket. Luka's a big 6'7". Very strong. Deceptively so. He's an extra forward out there rebounding the ball, even though he's got point guard skills when it's in his hand. And the East All-Stars decide to take their first time out here. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for Durant. Morant, he's checked in for the West. The general can't get it to go. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the East All-Stars. Getting downhill has really been impressive to me. Not settling from the outside. They're going right to the rack. 
Also, they're getting into the teeth of the defense. Points in the paint, something coaches always love to see. Uh, you know, he's almost the perfect defensive player. He's got length and strength, and he's athletic, and Giannis plays the game hard all the time, too, which is impressive. The East leading by six. And the rejection by Giannis. Count it. So it's the West now. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on the Jets. Game face. That is his first foul of the game. Adebayo is checked in for the East. The West All-Stars also with the sub. Gilgis Alexander's checked in for Doncic. Morant finds Jokic. Back to Morant. He's looking for Giannis and finds him. Who's the best young catalyst in the game? Some people will say Doncic. Some will say Trey Young. And some might even say John ja Morant. Well, he's definitely got a shoot-first mindset right now, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, and that's not always team endearing team. to your teammates, if you ask me. I mean, this is a game where everybody wants a piece of that spotlight. It shouldn't just be about him. And the East with... And that'll do it for the first half, a competitive game so far. East All-Star... And it's time to strap in as we get set to bring you the explosive action of the second half of the All-Star Game. Yeah, and I'm looking for the temperature to start to rise here a little bit in this second half. Yeah, I'm exactly with you there. I think we'll see a little less showmanship and a little more intensity from here on out. Second half is underway. Here's who Michael Malone's got on the floor. LeBron James is out there with Antetokounmpo. Then there's John ja Morant. Then there's Doncic. And it's Jokic in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. The East All-Stars have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. The pass to Morant. Pass to Doncic. Over Levine. They grab their own miss. Jokic on the follow. Jokic doing a nice job there, boxing out the defense to earn a second chance shot. Here's the general, guarded by Morant. Leonard. And the rebound goes to the West All Stars. Giannis has got six rebounds here tonight. A shot by LeBron, no good. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. And the rejection by Antetokounmpo. Jokic passes to Doncic. Antetokounmpo kicks to LeBron. A shot. It's hauled in by the East All-Star. Just one for four from the field. Not the way they wanted to start the second half. Here's the general covered by Giannis. Down low, here's game face. Durant trying to break free, and the basket is good. Leonard's got his first points of the game. That may not be his first choice, but Kawhi's not going to pass it up if it's there for him. Good decision to take the quick jumper off the catch. Anjic passes to Jokic, to the paint. Here's Anta Takumbo. Close contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll hit the line. And, and you got to love the big basket in the paint in this sort of a wide it out game. Jimmy Butler, he's jacked in for LeBron. A multiple-time MVP. You know, what's really scary is that Giannis feels like he can keep getting better, and more importantly, he does the work to get better. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Outside Butler. Morant looking around. Kicks it to Doncic. Passes to Jokic. Just five to shoot. The West again cannot hit. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. Here's game face. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. 18 points for the general. 
And man, has MP been dominant in the post here tonight, Greg. Just going to town on Chef Owens right now. Yeah, I got to see more fight from Chef. He, he can't afford to let MP be so comfortable inside. Now here's Morant. And Durant sends it back. Well, that'll get everybody on the bench fired up. They love to see KD playing some D like that. Game face lays it up off the glass. And now an 11-point East All-Star lead. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. So the timeout taken here, the first for the West All-Star. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell him simply, we have to. You know, the fan voting is what determines the starters in the All-Star game. Then the coaches will decide on the reserves. But either way, whether you're picked by the fans or the coaches, earning the title NBA All-Star that's an honor none of these players will ever forget. Jason Tatum is out there with Durant. Then it's Zach Levine. Then there's the general. And it's Leonard in at the five, roaming the bench. So that's the five in the game for the East All-Stars. You know, Zach Levine is not just a scorer. He's really good at setting up his teammates, too. Well, Greg, one thing we know for sure, you know that every player who earned a spot on this roster is going to see his share of action spreading the minutes evenly, as you've always talked about, is always a top priority for these All-Star game coaches. And you're so right, Kevin. I mean, for all the hard work these players put in to get here, I mean, each one deserves a chance, if you will, to share the spotlight. It's one of the great things about the All-Star game. Here's game face, and he slams that one down. And it's MP way out ahead in this battle against Chef Owen. And showing more control and playing his game out there, not letting Owens disrupt his focus or throw him off. Back to Morant. Out of the Kumbo trying to break loose, and he overshot that one, missing. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the East. 13-point lead. And the rejection by Morant. And how about using that impressive vertical on defense? Morant has the ability to block shots when in position. And Morant throws it down. That should give him a nice yes. little jolt. Uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt GM. And you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous wow. effort and a big time Game finish there. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the East All-Stars. They have been a wrecking ball defensively, coming up with steals, being active with their hands, and just doing a terrific job of disrupting the rhythm. I love the fact they've done tremendous work on the offensive glass. A lot of second chance opportunities as they've kept that ball alive. And Adam Kumpo is so long. I mean, he stretches forever, covers a ton of ground. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Both free throws good from the general. Now LeBron. Inside. And it's Jokic missing. The East leading by 12. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Here's the general, guarded by Morant. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Well, that is a rarity. When he takes flight, he usually hammers that thing home. Here's LeBron. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Taking two shots. It's on Kevin Durant. Hey, you want to try to guard LeBron? Good luck. I mean, the king is impossible to stop. Fast, strong, smart, tough, creative. Draws lots of fouls. Here's the general. Puts it up. An easy two points on the lane. The general's got 16 here in the second half. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. 
The West again cannot hit. The East leading by 12. Leonard, the pass to the general. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. At the line for two. Way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And you know the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. All free throws, good from the general. The West trails by 14. James right side. Morant with it. Now defended by the general. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And just a little too lax with that possession. And it cost him. And I tell you what, more brain neutral plays like that one, and they'll have a hole deeper than the one they're already in. Goes back up. And they convert it last on attempt number three. The Generals got 33. Knock loose. Hunter on the wing. Mid showing about it's a Kumbo. LeBron outside. Pass to Jokic. The feed to Doncic. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Zach Levine. Doncic, because he's so skilled and so savvy, he does a nice job forcing the defense into tough spots when they're guarding. So it's the East All-Stars winning this one easily. And guys, while the result and the bragging rights go to the East, this was truly a night that belonged to the fans. I mean, it was another great showcase of the world-class talent across the NBA. It seems to get better and better every year, doesn't it, Greg? Huh? So fun to... Our first serving is from Double Pecan. Spinning not one, but two scoops of dribbling delight. Handled with care, delivering straight to top drives. All right, AO Nation is set. And some surprise teams that started out hot have not cooled down. Their fans are wondering if this is the new normal. Well, B.A., it's easy for fans to jump to that conclusion. But look, the bottom line is you can't at the point guard position. Oh, that's nuts. Randall getting up there, turning a little bit, putting on a bit of a show here. And the Spurs with possession here. The next pick in their last shot. I mean, there are some great guys in this league. Coach Greg Popovich sticks out. Just a tremendous person. I love competing against his teams. Coach Pop, the NBA all-time leader in wins. Any memories facing off with his Spurs? Well, I always knew that his teams would play hard. They'd be prepared. They played the right way. And, of course, they exemplified the toughness and character of their leader, Coach Pop. The general, no good. A cell against Barrett. Pass to Bowen. To the middle. Porzingis finds Johnson. Down to five on the shot clock. Excellent D there from Toppin. And there's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Filthy. I mean, just the arena is stunned. He's got a deep bag of tricks to dig into. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. Here's Bowen. Last game, 26 points for him. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. San Antonio foul. Bowen. First foot foul. First team foul. San Antonio on D. Four-point game. Last time they met in San Antonio. Today's game is about effort and energy. They got crushed on the glass the last time these teams played. Well, let's see if the lesson was learned from that loss. If they come out with the same type of effort, they can expect a similar result here. 
And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble paying off. Now here's Johnson. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Sacramento. And as it goes out of bounds, San Antonio will keep possession. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now. Just flat. They're missing shots left and right. They're just not playing their best. Give a big round of applause to your next city dancer. San Antonio with the ball. Looking for their first basket of the game. Misses, and the dry spell continues for New York. They've gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Here's the general, guarded by Hayward. Here's the general. And so far in this one, two for four. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. San Antonio trailing here. Here's Bowen. He's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Pass to the general. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. The Spurs have gone 0 for 4, missing their first four attempts. Robinson with a steal. Here's the general. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Knicks. Well, their hands resulting in plenty of steals in the early going, keeping the opposition there off balance. Yeah, I wonder if pace and playing fast is something that they're being encouraged to do, because right now they feel like the faster team. Now here's Diallo. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. San Antonio again missing. Here's New York. 11 unanswered points for him. Kept alive. It's good. He's got nine. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. And the Spurs call time here. This game coming after the loss versus the Kings. On the road, they got owned defensively. They just couldn't match the activity level of their opponent. Well, let's hope there isn't any carryover from that letdown in this one. A minute six left to play in the first quarter. Shot clock at six. No good from 18. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shot. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Here's the general. Here's quickly. Wesley with a rebound. To the wing on the left. Out left to the wing. Here's Washington. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Defeated by Washington in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. In this league, you have to stay active at both ends of the floor. I thought their lackluster defense was the difference in the game. You can't allow any opponent to shoot that kind of percentage. If you do, it's just going to be so tough to keep up. At last, their cold streak is over. They finally found something that worked. Yeah, the point is to score, so getting that first one, that always helps. Here's the general. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And so it's the New York Knicks in control with a 16-point advantage heading into the break. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. More 2K action in just a moment. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. All right, guys, we've seen a confident-looking Knicks team out there. 
defensively, their gambles are paying off. Jumping passing lanes and pressuring ball handles. Okay. Just playing some real gritty defense right now, just getting up in bodies and forcing a lot of turnovers. And forward, it's Barrett and Randall. Then there's Jalen Brunson. Then there's Mitchell Robinson. And it's the general in at the two guard. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Thanks, guys. Well, the general, their last time out against the Wizards, was outstanding. He ended up with 37 points and was on point from deep. He had his handprint all over that game. Put up some big numbers. Guys, back to you. All right, Alec, thanks for the update. It'll be interesting to see if he can heat up once again tonight, Grant. Yeah, you know he wants to do exactly this, B.A. Just needs to continue to play with the same fire and energy. And you want to see him make sure that the teammates are also involved in what they're doing, especially if he draws that much attention. Hey, we see plenty of three-point shots every game, Brent. Would you say it's still a shooter's league? Yeah, I would say it's still a scorer's league, B.A., rather than a shooter because... Look, a lot of people can take shots. Uh, there aren't too many that make them efficiently. So uh, that part is, is going nowhere. I think it's about creating points and trying to get it to the, the most opportunistic way you can score. That's what the offense's job is to do. Now here's Johnson. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Offensive rebound. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Robinson gets the bucket. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Pass to Vassell. Drives to the hoop. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. That'll be the first leg of just a two-game trip for them. Now here's Randall. This is the baby hook. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. And it's Vassell penetrating. Surefire, one-handed stuff. Yeah, with his focus, he's not going to miss that. And when you think of the time Johnson spent with the U.S. team, I mean, the coaches and players he was around, absolutely huge for this young player and his development. And the general gets it to go. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Uses the glass on the layup. He's got 18. Johnson was part of that U.S. team that played in 2021. Yeah, what a great experience, Grant. Oh, B.A., I mean, I can speak in great detail how much you can gain playing for the U.S. team. Johnson continues. about ready for the second half here a big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive and it probably has to happen quickly Nick shooting it at 52 percent here's who Greg Popovich is starting the second half with Kristaps Porzingis out there with Johnson then there's Devin Vassell then there's Gordon Hayward and it's Bowen in at the one just a superb read on defense to come up with the block Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Vassell outside. Pass to Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. I don't know who's going to get up for that as Porzingis skies for the dunk. Here's the general. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. There's no foul. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. At the line, two shots. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Vassell with it. All alone. And Toppin pulls it down. All alone from mid-range. You've got to think he's kicking himself. Here's the general. 18 points for him. Robinson gets the bucket. He has pretty much a power play for Robinson. He's got the ability to just shrug off the defender. Trying to find a spark here. 
Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Johnson passes to Vassell. Just five to shoot. Spurs need to get one up here. Bowen nails it from beyond the arc. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Here he goes. And the general gets it to go. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. He can really read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And the Knicks making a change here. Brunson's checked in. Brunson. Here's Bowen. Brunson defending. Porzingis passes to Hayward. Here's Bowen. Over Brunson. Here's Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. Well, Porzingis now playing with passion, engaged on the offensive glass. Brunson finds Robinson. Here's the general. And a two-handed jam. All night they've asked him to shoulder the scoring load, and he is not disappointed. The Spurs have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Vassell outside. Yet another steal from him. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. You gotta love it. And for San Antonio, they're shooting poorly. Just 30% so far. And Jalen Brunson, he's a great option on the floor, Graham. <laughs> yes, he is. Can attack from different levels of the floor. Solid shooting threat from outside. And gives you another playmaker to initiate the offense. Clock at six. The bank shot, no good. The Knicks have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Here's Barrett. The offensive rebound. Robinson gets the bucket. Well, sometimes it's uh, like a patient that's struggling to breathe. You just got to keep the play alive, and Robinson able to do that there. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. Oh, my. Their coach does not look happy, and I can guess why. Their interior defense has been struggling. No, they're... Here are the Knicks. We've got R.J. Barrett. Mitchell Robinson is out there with Toppin. And it's the general in at point guard. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. New York. Yeah, Porzingis showing some of those signs from early on in his career where he was a great shot blocker. Here's the general. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And Grant, you played on the Suns team whose training staff was renowned. Is that still a differentiator between teams or has everybody caught up and on the same level now? You know, B.A., I think everyone's caught up. You know, 15 years ago, the Suns training staff was ahead of their time. But now teams are all much more sophisticated. They understand injury prevention, rest, recovery, really aiding the players, and I think adding years for players in the back end of their careers. Here's Wesley. Some solid defense from Barrett. Here's the general. Rebound San Antonio. Poke loose. And it's Gordon Hayward with the foul. That's his first foul. It's just a bad foul. Gotta be smarter than this. The Spurs making a switch here. The Cells checked in. Here's the general. Can't hit that one. San Antonio goes the other way with it. Unable to get that one. Some solid defense from Barrett. Here's the general. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Knicks. You have to be a fan of the energy they played with on the defensive end. Active hands and feet, and it's come up big a few times for them. Well, if we add another thing to it, it's about the urgency they've played with. I mean, you look at the Next eyes of these guys. They're focused, want to get up tempo, and that's helped them score on the fast break. 
Substitution on the court. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. Here's Primo. And Grant, as NBA players start to have more of a platform, we still hear those who say, shut up and dribble. What are your thoughts Primo. about this? I think it's silly and it's unfortunate. And if you don't like it, then change the channel. But players today, matter of fact, everybody today has a voice through their social media channels. And it just so happens that NBA players have large platforms that reach people all over the world. Yeah, don't expect the players to be anything other than themselves. And he drives in. Washington outside. And that's a foul called on P.J. Washington. That's foul number two. Substitution on the court. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. And the general gets it to go. It's just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Pass to Bowen to the paint. That one's wide left. And when he, he's this close, he's got to make it. The defense was pretty good, but just shouldn't miss that. The general, no good. I admire the play call. They just couldn't capitalize. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Marries it from three. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Knicks. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed Sheldon they were without a doubt the better team. And the wins have been piling up for them. Tonight will be their 58th of the year. And even though this season series was only two games, a sweep is still a sweep. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for the general. He was tough to cover all game long. One of those nights when he felt like nobody could stop him, and they didn't. Ooh, white side with the defensive effort. They've got a commanding lead. It just seems like everything is going their way. Here's the general. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's on Keldon Johnson. First free throw is good. Mitchell Robinson, he's checked in for New York. And that's good as he hits both shots. There's 38 seconds left to play in the fourth. Pass to Primo. Stolen by Whiteside. Here's the general. With the seven-footer. Outside Robinson. Here's the general. Whiteside down low. He's guarded by Washington. Four on the clock. Here's the general. He can't hit that time. Hart with the defensive effort. Oh, they get a hand on it. And so New York takes this one by a big margin. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and... Birdwell four is next in the wreck. Behind the back to lose one defender and then athletically ascending past the next. And one score from this bird in flight. No binoculars needed. We are in for a treat in this matchup, Greg. Here we go. With two conference rivals set to clash yet again. Yeah, we're going to see some added effort and intensity. And, and don't be surprised if it gets a little chippy. And now the New York Knicks starters. 
Randall and Robinson will be the inside pair. Barrett is out there with the general. And at the top end, in at the three. The Knicks shoot their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. At the line for the Knicks. And he's good on the second. And it's the Pacers ball. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on the general. That is his first foul of the game. First team Refs foul. calling it close already as he picks up a quick early foul. Halliburton passes to Matherin. Back to Halliburton. Robinson knocks it away. And here's Randall to the wing right side. Here's game face over Halliburton. The general can't get it to go. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for the Pacers. Bridges kicks to Halliburton. Off target with his three. And great, just like you, Julius Randle is a southpaw. Left-handed. Yeah, and you know, the angles are different for lefties. We operate a little differently. And I think that can throw defenders off. So I'm always going to pull for the southpaw. Here's Matherin. Trills the three-pointer. Love to see the unselfishness of Miles Bridges. Just another guy has a better shot. He's ready to move that basketball. The general can't get it to go. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. No good. Excellent defense there from Halliburton. Out to the wing. Jacks up a three. The shot no good by Duarte. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Here's game face. And he finishes nicely on the layup. There it is. After four straight misses, finally nail one. The Pacers have gone just one of four to get this game started. Pass to Matherin. Here's Duarte. Top and covering. Matherin passes to Bridges. Greg, looking back at the 2021 draft, I'm still shocked. Tyrese Halliburton fell to 12. My goodness. What a steal Halliburton has been. He broke his wrist in college. That scared some teams away, but boy, Tyrese has been awesome in the NBA. Well, as somebody who grew up in New York and New Jersey, I was a Knicks fan, right? They have such a great history. Think back to the championship team of the 70s. Walt Clyde Frazier, then the Patrick Ewing era, Bernard King. They have had so many Hall of Famers. Here's game face. Makes it off the glass. The General's got five points so far. We are going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. And this is why you get the ball into his hands. Let him establish the pace and rhythm of the game. Here's Matherin. Some stats for him. He averages over 21 points a game. For the three. Doesn't go that time. Now the Knicks take it the other way. And Doris, growing up around New York, what makes this Knicks franchise so special? Well, I think certainly the energy of the city, the passion for the game of basketball, playing in the Mecca, how fired up opponents are to play in Midtown Manhattan. The Knicks are a team that everyone follows. Here's Halliburton after the made shot from the general. Here's the teardrop. Randall with some nice D. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Toppin passes to the general. And to get open is Robinson. The general can't get it to go. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. You know, most NBA first round picks are one and done guys. But such this one, they took a different pass. To Indiana leading. Setting the floor for the Knicks. The forward spots will be Barrett and Randall. Emmanuel quickly out there with the general, and it's Robinson in at the five, roaming the paint. 
Halliburton against quickly. Five to shoot. Indiana needs to get a shot off. For a three, Bridges. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got five rebounds tonight. And Greg, when Chris Duarte got drafted in 2021, he was 24 years old. How about that, Kevin? The oldest first-round pick in almost 20 years. Duarte showed maturity during his first year. Great defense. Not someone you have to spend a ton of time developing. Jalen Brunson, he's checked in for New York. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey, Kevin. Well, the general in his last time out against the Spurs was on a mission. He dropped in 34 points, and he was a force on defense. Came up with a lot of steals. And he made it look so easy out there. Everything seemingly came to him effortlessly. Let's see if he has a similar outcome tonight. Kevin? Thank you, David. You're right. He was a one-man wrecking crew in that one. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same attitude tonight. One of the things I like about this guy, he's able to up the intensity whenever needed, and players really feed off his energy. Indiana again, turning it over. Listen, turnovers happen. You've got to move on to the next play. The Knicks with the lead. To the right side. Here's game face. It's no good. He is 4 for 10 in the game. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Halliburton passes to Smith. Here's Matherin. And a fast break now for the Knicks. Jumps up, and he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. It's still close, though. These teams have been neck and neck. Let's see the response here. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Halliburton outside. To halt the run. And they'll get another chance. Jackson misses. The Knicks leading by six. Wide open look. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. That's 12 points for the general. Oh, great ball movement there. So the Pacers call timeout. Their first of the game. Victory eluded them last time in New York when they took on the Knicks. And turnovers were the story for them when they saw each other last. I mean, just a heartbreaking way to lose the game. Give it up for them. Breeze checked in for the Pacers. And to watch NBA offense when the ball is hopping, I think you'd agree, it is beautiful. The precision, the grace, the timing. How much of that, Doris, is just making the simple pace? I think the best basketball is played when players think, what is the next right play? And so often, Kevin, that is simply moving the basketball. On the catch, you're in triple threat position. But as soon as you don't have anything, move it to the next guy. So I couldn't agree more. A superb scorer and a talented distributor, Tyrese Halliburton is exactly the type of point guard every team would love to have. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on the general. Second, that's foul number two for him. Second, Chris Duarte is checked in for Halliburton. Whiteside's checked in for New York. Barrett against Bridges. Duarte passes to Matherin. Indiana moving it around. Jackson against Whiteside. Five on the clock. Two minutes. Pass to Duarte. Two minutes. Shots over Brunson. That one off the back iron and out. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. Pass to Matherin. Green passes to Bridges. Here's Matherin to stop the drought. He takes it up and lays it in. Matherin's got eight points. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. 
And as good as Draymond Green has been on the floor, this guy will be an all-time broadcaster, already a popular podcast. Great TV studio appearances as well. And Draymond Green, the next broadcasting star. You've watched his work. Why is it? And Kevin, I think his basketball IQ is incredible. And we see that when he plays, but he can also vocalize it to the audience. And of course, Draymond is not afraid to say what he thinks. Looking at who's out there now for the Pacers. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for Jackson. And Heald subbed in for Bridges. And his defense, so valuable. Not many can bother that shot at the rim. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. Matherin, good. That's his first triple of the second period. Third of the game. The pass to the general. And he makes good on the layup. Assisted. Now that's 17 points for the general. Yeah, after a first quarter where they struggled from long range, they really started to get it closer to the basket. Outside, green. There's 18 seconds left to play in the first half. That one drops for him. Wow, this is next level now. Draymond Green in the pick and roll with the ball in his hands. Really nice job there. Here's the general. And he uses both hands to jam it in. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Green inside the three-point line. And so it's the New York Knicks. For the score. More cases. 22. The Knicks. 30. Fifth your Pacers. You fans team. Please give up. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. You know the general has been really making it happen, guys. What a menace he was on defense through the first two quarters. Just disrupting everything. Well, it was about effort and anticipation. Hard to get into an offensive rhythm when you know this guy is lurking. The guard pair, Halliburton and Matherin. Miles Bridges is out there with Jackson. And it's Duarte in at the three spot. So that's who Rick Carlisle starts the second half. Yeah, Julius Randle has a good feel on the offensive end. On time and on target with the pass. Halliburton outside. Bridges outside. And the call will be against Julius Randle. That's his first foul. And that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Always good to get another look at a terrific defensive play. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's his first trip to the line. That free throw missing. At the line for Indiana, Chris Duarte. And he sinks the second. And Randall has got the ball here for New York. They've got the Pistons ahead. Oh! Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Oh, Drake, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. Oof, this has been brutal. I mean, he still hasn't made a single shot. No wonder they're struggling. Goes to and he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Tipped away. Here's game face. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. And the Pacers call time here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Here's Duarte. He's got six. Halliburton for three. 
Robinson pulls it in. And they start the second half with three straight misses. Here's game face. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got four rebounds in this game. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Marche passes to Matherin. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And Greg, you watch Matherin. He is built to score at this NBA level. Excellent spot-up shooter. He, he plays above the rim. And once he gets more comfortable scoring off the bounce, watch out. Jalen Smith, he's checked in for the Pacers. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Grimes is checked in. Pacers trail by 13. On the wing, Bridges. Here's Smith. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second personal foul. It's on Mitchell Robinson. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. That's off as well. So he misses both. For New York, they've gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. Three. Sinks the three-pointer. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and coach knows it. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Pass to Bridges. Clock at four to the inside. Here's Halliburton. Second chance shot. It's rebounded by New York. Randall's got 11 rebounds in the game. You know, he might want to think about deferring for a while. He's had his chances this quarter, but just not able to convert. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Back to Halliburton. Bridges outside. Back to Halliburton. And hits one. He's ready to get back on track. Halliburton, a huge part of this offense, which is why he has the confidence in these catch and shoot situations. No hesitation. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three point play. And they're really in a good position here, thanks to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Whiteside's checked in for New York. Quickly comes in for Barrett. Halliburton kicks to heel. Pass to Green. Now here's heel. Here's the three. And it's Hassan Whiteside with the rebound. Now here's Quickly. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. The general passes to Randall. Over healed. Here's the general, guarded by Green. The general can't get it to go. Pacers trail by 19. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum from. Well, even when you try to check Draymond Green, he can bounce off contact pretty well, especially on his way to the rack. Here's game face. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Nabbing another steal. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see... Some changes here for the Pacers. Bridges comes in for Draymond Green. And Halliburton subbed in for Buddy Heal. And then for New York. Fournier is checked in for Toppin. The general comes in for Jalen Brunson. And it's Jenkins in for Quickly. Setting the floor for the Knicks. We've got Reynolds. Also Whiteside out there. The general is out there with Evan Fournier. And it's Jenkins in at the one. Here's Bridges. And it's Hassan Whiteside with the rebound. New York's gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. New York, no good that time either. The pace is shooting a low, low 30% right now on ugly offensive performance. Here's Halliburton. And the shot is long. New York's gone 4 of 6 from beyond the arc in the fourth quarter so far. Here's game face. Excellent defense there from Halliburton. 
And so here is Indiana. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. You can safely say mission accomplished now for the Knicks. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever Indiana they wanted. And I think coming into this game, these guys felt they had the confidence to win. And looking at the season they've had already, 58 wins in the books. Tonight will be win number 59. And once they polish off this win, they'll be one more victory away from sweeping the season series. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for the general. You have to focus on the steals he came up with. They were huge factors in the end result. Healed with the bucket. Great concentration by Buddy Healed right there. Boy, despite taking the bump, finishes anyway. Here's the general, covered by Heal. A spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. Now, here's McConnell, guarded closer. Shoots over Jenkins. A shot by McConnell, no good. Here's game face. The second effort, and it's good on the way in. The Generals got 41. It's starting to look like a repeat of last night, guys. He's battling really hard out there. Oh, he sure is. I mean, these past two games, his energy level has been sensational. Whether it's a putback like that or other hustle plays, he's been everywhere. From deep. And the miss. So no problem for New York as they get the win. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they control the game and it just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.